Hi, okay, how to do a gated manual gearbox. So this is what we're aiming for. So we start out by deleting the cube and then let's make sure that we have activated the extra object. So we search here for extra and make sure that the add max extra objects is activated. Great, close this, now press shift A Go to mesh and we choose round cube and uh, i used to work in the right dimensions but this time i will just, just do this quick and dirty so let's press s for scale and scale it only in z something like this uh, and i want to shade smooth it so right click choose shade smooth and then press here and add modifier and we can add a subdivision surface modifier and uh, something like this looks great and now let's add another cube so shift a add a cube scale it down let's look upon this from the top this should be fine oops uh, let's drag it up a little bit so let uh, scale this in y so let's press s and y drag it out something like this press ctrl a of apply all transformation press tab control r add six loop cuts like this and right click let's press number three so we only select faces we select this one, this one this one this one this one this one and this one great now we want to extrude this but we need to change this to individual origins like this press e drag them out something like that let's look upon it from the top yeah it works great now we want to add some bevels let's check again so the scale is correct yep okay so let's tab press number two so only select uh, edges i want this one this one and we can actually look upon it from the sides press alt z to enter x-ray mode select these and press shift and select these as well and we have all those edges great press ctrl b and let's drag and scroll so we have more faces in the bevel i think this should look fine and now we can select edges between the different forkiness so i want all these edges great and press oh, i want this as well of course and control b again let's drag fewer here i think so something like this yeah that looks great uh, let's press shade smooth and go to normals auto smooth great and let's press uh, tab a scale z and we can g said move it down yeah and this will be a boolean object so uh, we can name this to boolean cut great we take this part go here and add a modifier i want to add a boolean modifier select this one and we hide the boolean cut like this and we press alt z to turn off x-ray mode and it doesn't look too great okay so let's add a material so it's easy to see what we're missing and what's wrong something like this and we can see we have some kind of artifacts here and we don't want that so let's out the smooth yeah and this will do for now to something like this okay so let's add the stick so press shift a uh, and add a cylinder let's scale it down look upon it from the top scale 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 something like this and is it too wide it's too wide so let's scale it down even more just test move it here yeah this will work great so let's scale it up and move it up a little bit give it the same material and 
let's add a shade smooth press tab number three select this one and select this one and press x delete faces great but i actually want to do something up here let's press number one select these press e s scale it up e z and maybe e s e z yep and we can take this press shift s cursor to selected press tab press shift a to add the gear knob so we take a uv sphere for this oh that's big kind of really big yeah but this maybe yeah whoops look upon it from the side take this one g and set up and press shade smooth yeah looking good and i want to add a subdivision surface to this so it gets extra smooth and then i want to add a material to this one so let's take just make a black ball like this that's kind of shiny and then we just g g said drag it down uh, yeah something i think this is starting to look good and we can actually add some numbers i think so if you just uh, press shift z just send this one down to the middle and press shift a and add a text and let's rotate the text so r z 90 and press tab to uh, to press tab and then uh, backspace to delete the uh, current text and add your own so i now want number one great let's leave tab mode and i want this to uh let's open up geometry and i want this to extrude a bit and i also wanted to give the same steel material okay look upon it from top and i want this to go over here and i want it to be set origin to center of mass yes and scale 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 and this is not number one this is number one and how do it look from side is in the object we don't want it we want it to extrude a little bit like this great so let's press shift d and y drag it over here and shift d and y drag it over here and let's take this free and press shift d and x drag them over there and i just realized we forgot the reverse so shift d and y and drag it over here and we can change this first so tab delete and a big r we take this one we can actually uh, it's easier to see tab and this must be number three oops and this must be number five so this is number two and this is number four yeah and you guessed it and this will be number six oops yeah so uh, something like this and then you can work with the lighting and, and how you place this and let's just set this to the parent and we can move this g x whoops y i mean and we want this to rotate around r and x whoops y i mean a bit tired and let's move it down i think it's going up too far yeah and this is how you can do a gated uh, gearbox thanks for watching and a big tip is to be more organized than this this is a example everything is wrong so yeah well bye